Hi everybody and welcome to, well, a very interesting and compelling story with my guest speaker, Ben, Ben Clench. I'm, I'm Ben. Yeah. Um, and I suppose the best way to really talk about my story is imagine waking up and you can't do anything. Right. You okay. don't know what to do. Yeah. You don't know how to do it. You don't know who these people are. And so that happened to you? That is exactly what happened to me. Right, okay, wow. Okay, so tell us the story behind that. I was visiting my girlfriend at the time. Right. She was working for the UN in Haiti. Wow, okay. And we went to the Dominican Republic yeah. for a week. Yeah. And uh, on our last night there, yeah. we just finished eating dinner. Yeah. And we're just walking back to the hotel where we were staying. And a car drove onto the pavement, ran us both over, killed instantly, okay. knocked me on the road in a coma. The, the injury I had yeah. was like lots of, lots of neural pathways were broken. However, on a, on a you know, brain scan, yeah. it looks very horrific. Yeah. But if they did further brain scans, like deeper brain scans, they see most of my brain was intact. Right. So tell me about when you woke up. I was in the coma for a month. A month? Yeah. So what on earth, and it, it, it sounds an ironic question, goes through your mind when you wake up and you go, what happened there? Nothing. Nothing was happening. You're, right. you're just, you don't know who anything is, where you are. Yeah. Everything's blank. There is no... Yeah frame of reference. No past? No past, no future, future, no nothing. Just what you have in that moment. Yeah. What was the first step for you to get out of that? Well, the first thing was I had to learn to talk again. Then I had to learn how to use my body, how to stand up. Not only do you have to contend with your own personal situation, but also the loss of a loved one. No, you don't. I, can, oh, I could not remember my girlfriend for two years. Right, obviously the memories are coming back now, I'm guessing. Yeah, 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 now, now they're back. And has yeah. it affected you in any way? I was so happy when they did start coming back. I was just like, oh, thank goodness. I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah, so that was you your know? priority. Cause, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the main goal for you, right? Yeah. To get better and, and try and make a life for yourself. Yeah. How on earth do you overcome a situation as awful as that? Following your heart and doing what you think you should do and not what anybody else says you should do. Can you give us sort of three of your tips, your best tips to help us do that? Three of the tips would be know where you're going mm -hmm. or what you want, where you want to go. Right, so set your outcome and, and a vision of, of where you want to be. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then to work out what's stopping you get there. Okay. Working out why you can't get to where you want to get to. Yeah, yeah. And being very honest and frank about with that. With yourself and other people, I guess, or? Yeah, yeah, okay. with yourself. Thirdly, yeah. would be to go communicate with people that are going to help you get to the goal. So I've got a question from a gentleman called Scott Hardiman, who's actually read your book. Mm. And he say, it's a bit of a playful question and a bit provocative. What's next for you? After going through that, life must be easy for you. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Uh, no. So he says, isn't, isn't after going through something like that, doesn't it make things like pitching your business idea easy or finding investment easy or overcoming a bad day easy? I would say uh, from my accident, I've overcome a lot. Right. Um, but it doesn't make it easy. No. You know? But you, so therefore, do you simplify events in your life now going into the future? Because nothing can be as challenging as that. No, no. Right. But, uh, but of course, trying to get paid speaking roles yeah. is uh, totally something I've never done. It's a new challenge, before. right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which, I mean, is like all the other challenges I've had. Yeah. And I've got to keep going on and plowing through. Yeah, yeah. So, relating your experience, it's sort of Scott's question to his own business, what can, advice can you give him in his own business to. to maybe become more successful based on what you've gone through? Don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah. I've got another question for you from Georgia Fajaz. And okay. she talks about passions and purpose and what the future holds for you. 
Well, I mean, I, I would like to still be involved in the work I was doing before, yeah. in international development. But I would also, I would love to share my story mm. with other people. Mm -hmm. You know, to give people hope and inspiration. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that, you know, not to worry about how bad things are. Yeah. You can get through them. I've had to climb a terrible mountain yeah. to get through my adversity. And there are simple ways other people can think about how to get through adversity themselves. I mean, people say, oh, I haven't got the time to do this. I can't be bothered doing that. Yeah. What do you say to those people? Uh, I would say staying physical and healthy yeah. is a cornerstone to, to how you are as a person. So it's a privilege, right? It is. And like, there's, you know, so much ill health. Yeah. And so many prescriptions taken. Yeah. And actually, maybe people need to be more active. I, I couldn't agree more, Ben. One of our good friends, Helen Packham, has um, texted me actually. She wants me to ask you a question, which I think is relevant for everyone who's watching this. Yeah. Is obviously overcoming something like that takes a lot of strength. Where on earth do you get that strength from? And, and what sort of advice could you give people who maybe have experienced something similar or even, you know, just starting their own business and thinking it's daunting, it's intimidating. Where do you get that strength from and, and what tips can you give them? Well, Know where you want to get to, yeah, and don't stop until you get there. Appreciate the support you can get, yeah, to help you get there. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess the limitations that people have, sometimes they hold us back, right? Yeah. So it's about challenging those limitations, and and I guess support networks are really, really important there, right? So on the back of all this, you've written a book, you've launched your own speaking business, yeah, which is fantastic. So I'd like to learn more about that. So let's go and grab a coffee. Let's do it. Your cappuccino, my green tea. Thank you very much. So tell us more about the book, etc. Well, the book, the book was uh, written because when I was uh, doing my second masters, yeah, I was seen by some people at Hammersmith Hospital, and they did brain scans of my brain, yeah, and they did brain scans of another patient's brain. Mm -hmm. And the doctor was then using these at conferences with many other doctors and saying, what do you think of, you know, the recovery of these two people? Oh, right. As a comparison, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And everyone was saying, I was in a wheelchair, and the other guy was saying, fine. Right. And he was like, well, that just shows you how bad, um, you know, brain scans are. Yeah. Because in fact, this guy you think is in a, in a wheelchair, yeah. sitting in another masters, yeah. and the other guy you think is fine, is in a wheelchair. So it wasn't telling the full picture? No. So your response to all of this was, was, was basically to challenge people, right? To challenge the status quo about these, these assumptions that people are making. Yeah, definitely. And he said to me, you know, please just write, write, write it down, write a book. Really? It'll give so many other people inspiration. Fantastic. Okay. And so you've done that? So that's what I've done. And so the, the book is about your story, I guess? It is, yeah. So, so where can you get the book from? You can uh, go into any bookshop mm -hmm. and get a... Um, the owners to order it in, or you can get it from Amazon. Such a compelling story needs to be shared. Mm -hmm. And I think in terms of people who are watching this who are entrepreneurs or people who just lack a bit of confidence or have challenges, mm -hmm. I think you can teach them a lot. I just want to sign off and say thank you very much. It's been a brilliant, brilliant conversation to have with you. I wish you all the best in the future. And I know for a fact we will be working together again in some capacity, whatever that is. Definitely. Thank you, mate. Thank you. So that was Ben Clench, a truly inspiring individual, I'm sure you'd agree. And the key learning points for me, well, set your outcome. Be inspired by your outcome and never let anyone tell you that you can't do something. And then of course, break those limitations and get that support and that support is critical to you. Um, and for me, I think the big takeaway for me personally is forming a new friendship with someone like that as part of the Business Brain community. And remember this, always flex your mental muscles. Thank you.